Good morning. I am uh, on my way today to the bank because I have to pay for my new internet. I like it. Fiber optic, 100 gigabyte. We need this. We absolutely need this. Um, I have been getting some really cool comments from people. Uh, again, a lot of them have been really helpful. Uh, some of it, though, is a little strange because you get both sides of the story. Uh, one person decides that I am talking too much about myself, and another person decides the uh, route. Another person decides that I'm not talking enough about myself. Uh, one person says that they are learning a lot. Uh, other people say that they're not learning enough. Uh, some people like the Russian. They think it's funny or cool or whatever. And other people say that I should drop the Russian and only talk in English. It's really hard to know. I mean, really it's hard to know. But maybe the most important question, or at least the question that I think needs to be answered before we go on, is what exactly these videos are. Uh, why am I opening up a YouTube channel? <laughs> why am I walking around Pinsk and Minsk making selfie videos? That's a heck of a good question. Um, first of all, uh, I think the main idea came because of suggestions from some students I had who did what you might call parallel learning. Uh, by watching YouTube videos, uh, podcasts, uh, other English teachers that were online and thought that I would be an interesting YouTube personality uh, because of the way uh, practical English works and that we do something a little bit different, a little bit more in-depth and people get a little bit uh, or a lot greater understanding of English uh, when they work with me, then they generally get by what we could call standard courses. It's just a different world. Um, and I thought about it for a, a long time, um, about eight months before I actually got started. Uh, but n now we've started, right? So the basic concept of this YouTube channel, Dobre uh, The basic concept of this YouTube channel, or at least the way I imagined it, was pretty simple. If I was going to make a series of videos, uh, I really did not want to stand in a classroom. And uh, I really didn't think it would be interesting to sit at my computer and like show people what my face looked like. Um, I, I have seen uh, some YouTube people, uh, some clever people who do this sort of uh, walk around, make a video, change the landscape. I, I like that idea. I like what they look like. I like that the essence was that they were somewhere and they were doing something other than the job they do. Um, I don't know, it just seemed more natural and more direct. So that's what this came from. Uh, the second thing that I really wanted to do was not to get into filmmaking. Um, fast cuts, uh, computer imagery, uh, mixed media. Um, I'm not really a filmmaker. You probably understand this already. And I, I really don't know that I need filmmaking as a hobby or, you know, the new focus of my life. I really thought that we can do this one shot, one take, unrehearsed, and most importantly, one coherent thought. That was really 
the thing that got me at least interested enough to try and start these things. One coherent thought. Now you might ask why? What is so great about one coherent thought? Well, <laughs> this is what we do. This is what we build our English for. This is the end result of practical English. To be able, in English, to make yourself clear enough to explain a very technical, very accurate, very grammatical, and hopefully interesting enough, complex thought. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried to do that. I don't know if you've ever tried to express one thought in five minutes or ten minutes. It's not that easy. And certainly it would not be easy to do it in a second language. I don't know if this gives me some credit when I do these videos in Russian or not, but if you get that this is the basic idea, you know, hopefully it's worth a few thumbs up. But that to me, I thought, was the essence of what I'm actually trying to do. And if someone thought that the ability not to make a speech, I'm not talking about public speaking, I'm talking about communication with other people, but to express your desires, your intentions, your needs, in a very well explained, grammatical, contextual, and understandable single thought, improvisationally. Now that to me is an expression of real skill. And you know, my students get to B1, C1 level really quickly. And historically, you know, when I used to get a lot of teenagers or even younger than teenagers coming to my house and sitting at my table and drinking tea, really, even my worst students were winning medals with practical English. So I don't know if this changes how you see these videos. I don't know if it makes you like them more or if it gives you reason to dismiss them. Uh, I don't know if this changes your commentary of my filmmaking techniques or my language skills or, uh, <laughs> like you said, Pop, if there's too much wind. But that's what we're doing here. We're trying to build competence, language competence, and language skills so that anybody that comes to me in a really short period of time, a couple of months, you might be able to make something like this video. Or if you were talking to a friend, you might be able to express something to them so clearly that they might actually listen to you. That's a hell of a thought, isn't it?